so what we're seeing right now is that BC is is particularly high compared to other provinces. Um, it seems to have started surging sooner, um, which is something that we've seen on the west coast of the U.S. as well. Mm. And our estimates right now are that about one in every 19 people in uh, British Columbia are infected. Um, that is as of this past weekend. Um, the last time we did our estimates, um, and we'll have to see what happens as more wastewater data come in this week. Mm. I uh, have kept up to date with all my shots. Mm -hmm. I'm 65 years old, and I had a shot uh, around about a week and a half before I went to Europe and came back mm. with COVID. And uh, my mm. husband, who has lupus, was unable to get a shot because it was against what he was taking for lupus, and he also got covid um, is this new variant um, different with the shot? First of all, um, there, so there are a, a series of new variants that are out there. Um, we generally seem to get a new family of variants roughly each year now. And these variants are, are um, good at um, infecting people who've had a previous infection as well as people who've had a previous vaccination. And what's important to know is that the, the shots that are available right now are, for, are from last year's variant. So the major variant was XBB. And so the shots that we have available now are from the variant from a year ago. So they're not matching um, what we're starting to see people be infected with now. And we're waiting um, quite desperately as infections go up, but mm -hmm. we're waiting um, to find out about the new formulation of vaccines when they'll be available in Canada. But the reason you wouldn't have had as much protection is because you had an old shot. It may provide uh, some additional protection. It probably does, but not quite as much as a, a vaccine that has a good match for the current variant. Okay.